Now to get our machines through the DVDs, just visit samplekings.com. Once you're in the store, you can read the description. If you need more information, you can call or email us, and you can add to the cart. Now once you get in your cart, make sure you got what you want. It says here too, I'm gonna go over here, put in one, update the cart, and now we can check out. So now I wanna load in some samples. Now these are samples that I previously did on other software. And it's always cool, a lot of us have a lot of samples. I got my loop beats here, and I've got some samples. I can just get a sample here, go to the next one. And of course, down at the bottom, I can adjust my audio level. So let's see here, I'll find this beat here. Okay. I'm gonna drive the speed right over here. And now I put it in sound slot one here in group H. And so here is my sample. Now, when you get a sample and you load it in, you can always fine tune your points. So I've got an end point here for the start and the end point here for the ending. So I got these points, or so start point, end point, rather. Here's my start point, and I can drag it in, right? can't see much. So what you do normally, you're just going to drag down on the sample waveform, this region here. Just going to drag down and then we can zoom in better. See, I'll drag down some more and I'm going to move this end point over then. Now I'm going to grab the start point and take it right here, right here before the transient. It gets really big right there before it starts to expand against the zero axis there. So uh, now I can also just grab that and just see that? I'm just squeezing it in, pushing it in, and now I get a better view. Rather than dragging on a region, I can just do that. Now I'm gonna pull it over here, and I got a really good view now of where the start point of the sample is. And really quickly, as you can see that, I just dragged right across it real quickly, and it took me to the end, which is beautiful. So I got my point here, I put my cursor here, I get the horizontal arrow going on there. There we go. And here, grab it right here and take it right to the beginning before it starts to end right there. Got my point. So here I can take this and just drag it out. And now I got my beginning and end of the sample range. Now, normally I can go right here and I'll just press, I want to truncate maybe, let's say I want to normalize, right? Let me go to normalize. And I press normalize and nothing happens. Nothing. And that may happen with you also with some samples that you're already had or you've taken in from the CD or whatever. And so um, in order to actually use the sample, I will go back into the sample. I will click right here on the sample itself, the sample range, and I'm going to do a save as. Now next, I'm going to save this as a sample. I'm going to save it on my desktop. So I'm going to call this uh, the beat and I'll press save now. I'm going to go back here to the browser, select desktop, and there it is right there to beat. I'm going to put it here on sound slot number two. And now I've got this here. I'm going to get my endpoints real quickly now. Just drag them in, give me some idea. I'm going to play it back to make sure I have the right beat, of course. That's it. And now let's say I want to normalize it. Let's normalize it now. Let's go back to here. And now. It works. Let's play it back. And that's how you do it.